Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Kitchen. Okay, this is something I've been wanting to try again. That was very successful in the very early days of Jeremy's Kitchen. But I'm going to do it differently this time. Because my brother had requested that I, for a while, that I try to make it this way. So today, I'm going to make... Chicken pot pie. I should say remake chicken pot pie. For this, I have the following ingredients. Four tablespoons of butter. Four tablespoons of flour to make a roux. Two cups of chicken stock or chicken broth. Salt, pepper, cayenne. Rotisserie chicken that's been peeled off of the, off the chicken. And in the sink, in this colander, I have diced potatoes, ca diced carrots, and green beans. And the way it's going to be different is I'm going to be using two pie crusts to actually make a chicken pot pie. As well as this egg wash on the top. I also plan to use milk instead of cream for the, for the, for the mixture. All right. Okay, so we're going to start by melting our butter. I also have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. Okay, so we're going to get this butter melted. It's a big stick of butter. So this will take a few minutes, but it won't take long. All right, guys, I told you this wouldn't take too long. Our butter is, pretty, it is melted. So now we're going to take our flour and you don't want this root to brown. So you want to stir it until it combines with the flour. The flour and the butter combine, which is about now. Just a few more seconds. Let me lower the temp a little bit. Now we're going to take our chicken stock. And mix. Okay, so the, chick the chicken stock is in. Let's get that starting to boil a little bit, see if it'll thicken up, it should. Trying to get this to boil. Once I do, I need to test the consistency of the uh, of, of our filling.
Okay. So now, to test the consistency, if you take a spoon, and you run it through on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now you see how this spoon is coated. You run your finger across it. You see the spoon, but it's not dripping. We're running. It's perfect. That's the right consistency. Good. So now, you want to season. Now I'm going to lower the temperature there. You're going to hit this with some salt. And pepper. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm going to mix that up. Now, here comes the most important part right here, right now, that now you need to taste this for seasoning. Otherwise, if you don't do it now, you will not be able to do it eat at all or have a chance to. Actually, that's actually good. I like that. Okay, so now, we're gonna add our chicken. Perfect. And our vegetables. Perfect. I'm gonna kill the heat now. Gonna mix everything together. I'm gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna let this cool down a bit. So, come on over here, take a look at our filling for our chicken pot pie. Okay, so now I'm going to give the smelling a little shot. Okay, so now you guys are going to come back to me on my counter. Okay, I have one pie crust here. Thank you. The oven is now heated up and ready to rock and roll. Oh. Oh. Okay, come on, baby, open. Come on. Okay. Good, good. Now I'm gonna patch up some of these little holes here. That's good. Good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is 
So we're gonna take our chicken pot pie filling. We're gonna pour it in to our pie crust. Cool. Huh. Okay, so now we're going to need this shortly. We're going to take our second pie crust. Open you carefully. Yeah, there you go. And we, and I'm gonna put you over. And we're gonna pinch the pinch our endings closed. Just like this. And then we're gonna crimp it along the edge of the pie crust, of the pie tin. And the excess I will trim off before before we continue. Good. So now we're gonna take a paring knife, run it along the edge. Now we're gonna cut slits into our pie, just like that. And we're going to use this egg wash with one egg and milk in it. And you know, I just realized that I was supposed to add milk to our, uh, to our filling, but Truth be told, that's an optional thing. So either way, it's gonna come out good. And we are good, except for one small other thing that I also almost forgot, but this part is actually pretty important. We're gonna take some aluminum foil and we're gonna put it Hmm. Fold it and gonna put it around the edge of of our pie, just like this. I'm gonna do that all the way around. This is to prevent the edge, since it's the thinner part, this is to prevent it from burning. Oh, 
All right. So now our pot, our chicken pot pie is ready for a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. Then we take the pie, remove the aluminum foil, and then put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for 20 minutes. We'll take off the foil, then cook it for another 20 minutes. And, I'm, and then I will show you how it looks at the end. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. We currently have one minute and five seconds until we have to pull our pot pie out of the oven. So, I'm going to get on my oven mitts. I have a cork right here. I also have a plate, a fork, and knife, as well as a spatula to help me get a slice out which we will do um, behind the scenes because we're gonna give this pie some time to cool down, but I will let you see the end result afterwards. All right. 30 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds to go. If you knew what that song was, you and I could be friends. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Wow. Look at this bad boy. Wow. Come here. Take a look at our chicken pot pie. This came out wonderfully. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, as I said, I'm going to let this pie cool down a bit. Then I'll kind of slice for myself, and I will try it at my table. All right, guys. I will let my pie cool, and I was able to cut a good slice. So, take one more look at a slice of our chicken pot pie. All right, let me put you guys down. Bless us, O Lord, for these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alright. Got a bit of the crust. I got a vegetable. I got chicken in here. That's better. Cheers. Still hot, but it tastes delicious. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Seasoned beautifully, good flavor. Now, you may remember the first time I made chicken pot pie, it was basically a Wolfgang Puck style, which was the filling here, which is always good, but I used puff pastry to cover a cup to which had my uh, 
filling in it. But this is an actual chicken pot pie with pie crusts. Pie crust on the bottom, pie crust on the top. And it was great. This is great. So the question remains is, which is better? Why don't you decide that? All right, guys, this was our chicken pot pie. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below. Until next time, this is Jeremy saying, Bon Appetit!